hi everybody okay so this is my second video since being in japan only my second video i thought it would be easier to you know do videos but um, not when you're trying to settle into a new country okay so someone wanted me to share with them some things they could do before they left jamaica for japan and I thought, okay, instead of answering that person alone, let me just do a video because this is a question that a lot of persons ask, especially from Jamaica. Yeah. So the first thing I will say before coming to Japan is to set your house in order. What do I mean? Tell your banks, especially for your credit card, let them know that you'll be moving for an extended period to another country so they won't block your card or anything like that. So I did all of that, went to my bank, you know, just found out if there was anything additional that I needed to do um, to be able to use the card. Um, in Japan and I really didn't have to do anything. I'm with First Global. Yay! Um, also, uh, talk to your insurance reps for your health insurance. Well, not health insurance, life insurance. You know, find out from your rep um, if there's anything additional that you need to do. If you had a standing order with your previous employment, you may want to cancel that, of course. Um, and find out other payment options if you did not have like an online option or you do have an online option be sure to sign up for that before you leave you know you really want a nice transition you don't want things like your life insurance um, going bad going bad I know right <laughs> um, so yeah um, Continuing with your accounts if you are the only one on like your bank accounts Whatever account that is whether it's a commercial bank a credit union if you are the only one on your account I suggest adding another person who would be able to sign um, For transactions when you are not in the country, right? That would be very 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 helpful and of course if you, if you have an ATM card for this Please leave it with your family members, whether your parents or your siblings or whoever you would add to the account. Leave the card, okay? You don't have any use for uh, NCB ATM card, you know, in, in Japan. You know, unless it's like one of them visa debit thing there. Okay, right, so very important, start studying Japanese. If you haven't already started, Please get the ABs, the ABCs of Japanese down. The ABCs, hiragana, katakana, you know, those are called kanas. Please try and start studying at least six months before you come to Japan. It will be very, very helpful. Basic Japanese phrases also. All right, now, being able to access Jamaican things while in Japan is super expensive you know because of how far we have to travel so whatever cultural things you can bring for yourself especially for your own comfort like i have flags yay i have a jamaican dress i have a, a couple jamaican t-shirts and it's no olympic time Woo! so very very useful for cultural activities if you just want people to know where you're from, you know, you can wear your shirt and that kind of thing. Yes, you can have persons ship things to you. But if you want it right away, it's going to take like two, three, four weeks if it's coming from Jamaica. So um, do that. Posters and other memorabilia that you may find helpful to probably put up in your room, your apartment or whatever. Right. And of course, bring your Bible um well for me it was important for me to bring my bible so hey you can always order one online when you get here or you can always use your phone to access scriptures and so on but nothing beats having your bible in hand all right now you better know what season you are coming in 
is it going to be super hot is it going to be super cold please prepare accordingly for that right and of course you are going to need your business attire if you're coming here for work um so yeah uh, one of the things that i really needed when i came here during a cold period was some kind of moisturizer for my skin my face my lips it was so cold and the lotion just disappeared <laughs> from my skin and you know so please something like a moisturizer a cream very very helpful to bring if you're coming during the cold especially all right um a lot of things daily essential things can be accessed in japan a lot when you're coming to a new country you don't know anywhere you don't know anyone basic things like deodorant you know lotion um perfume if you use it and that kind of thing you may want to travel with with some sanitary napkins for ladies you know until you get settled and a bit used to your city or wherever you're placed yep especially if you have favorite brands yeah all right but be very very careful because luggage space is very precious so you have to choose wisely okay they have toothpaste and all them things there um and of course these things you can all sew order online or have shipped to you um after your basic supply would have run out so you know be wise with the luggage space all right guys you are going to need a a positive attitude positive attitude a willingness to learn learn not only the language but the culture the people just realize that japan is different from jamaica very very different yes they are friendly and so on but they are different it's a totally different kekla fish trust me you know when you go to america you can probably find one and two people who used to you and all of that in japan especially as a black person especially if them put in at the country area of japan who you gonna be the only black person there like me yep only black person in my city but that's okay that's okay um them don't have no breadfruit no ackee no green banana no planting them thing there and some other wallipa things them don't have them in japan so positive mind mindset okay prepare yourself mentally for some of the comforts of jamaica that will not be in japan like the wide array of fruits and vegetables that we have in jamaica they don't have in japan they have a lot of vegetables and their selection of fruits a lot of them are imported you know like all the mango mango imported and it's just not the same um you can access um things like green planting by getting them shipped from ecuador expensive yeah but so just prepare yourself mentally for all of these things yeah yes 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 one of the things i did was i chose to walk with my certifications my my um university degree um and my tefl certification the hard copy right it is suggested that you well i don't know if it was suggested but i guess i wanted to have them at my disposal you know instead of having to wait to have them shipped if there was anything that came up suddenly yes so i decided to walk with them and if you can walk with a copy of your transcript from your university also that would be very helpful for when you need to um get your driver's license your japanese driver's license if you decide to drive in the second year right so that would be very helpful okay now a very important tip was shared with me i don't know how it works yet because i'm only here for four and a half months so far so um birth certificates of at least three family members who are of the age where you can actually send money back to jamaica via remittance this is going to be helpful when it's time to file taxes yes we have to file taxes in japan um of course jamaicans are not used to that kind of thing so i'll try and update you when that time does come for me um so having the birth certificate and keeping the 
transaction receipts of the remittances that you would have done should be helpful in reducing the amount of tax you will have to pay for the second year because in the first year you don't pay taxes okay let me hurry along i have a few more points here okay smartphones can be expensive for foreigners because they don't want to give you a a, a contract um, they want with the phone they want you to buy the phone up front so if you can walk with your unlocked smartphone preferably one of the more familiar brands you know Sony Kyocera um, iPhone Samsung you know that kind of thing it will be helpful in reducing the amount that you'd have to spend to set up your phone um, okay all right setting up um communicative devices or ways to communicate with those back home who may not be as tech savvy and may not have somebody to do it for them readily like setting up a facebook account whatsapp skype you know that kind of thing for your parents your siblings or whatever um that would be helpful for you to do before you actually leave jamaica all right and please be sure to join the Facebook group Jamaicans Living in Japan where you can get information, share ideas, ask questions and just talk with people who would understand your language. You know? Them kind of thing there. Right? Um, check with your airline to ensure that the luggage allowance is right in that you whether you should have one or two you know so you pack accordingly um, that's very helpful proof of address for at least three months for your country Jamaica or wherever um, this is for when you need to renew your driver's license for the second year of being in Japan if you plan to drive you will need to have proof of address as well as a copy of your transcript that will be helpful right it varies for each city but this is just you know standard basic stuff okay all right of course you can have these things mailed to you as well but just giving you a heads up all right um no i brought 100 one dollar coins with me and they were very helpful and still are helpful in sharing cultural exchange um and also for activities and games in the schools that i've been teaching in so if you want just an idea uh, you can bring those as well and even to give away as memorabilia very cool all right so if I have left out anything please leave them in the comment box you know when you're doing these videos um, if you have any questions uh, comments other ideas please leave them in the box below and I'll try and do more videos like this thank you bye